Welcome back to Bare Metal Machine. So this part that I had made recently using the uh, Cartesian display and the integrated rotary table, it needs further processing. Okay, so for starters, I've got to get rid of these two tabs here with these holes there. I think that's not part of the design. I, I only use those to, uh, to hold the part to the fixture while I machined it. Okay, so the fixture, right? Looks like this and so there was only really one hole in the design that i could take advantage of so that was a freebie but these other two so that's that's why i put those little tabs on there so that i could screw this thing down and that allowed me to machine the perimeter of this thing you know without messing with clamps or anything like that and um of course you know the motivation for a fixture is easy because it allows me to go between manual and cnc at will all right and uh so these these tabs are going to be machined off flush Right, and then the part will be ready for further processing. Okay, so this is as opposed to a part like this, right, that actually has holes in the design already. These belong here, right? And so that allowed me to make a fixture, you know, just by uh, drilling and tapping some holes and screw the thing down to it, and voila, it fixture was basically free because the design had holes in it already. Okay, but you know, not every part uh, affords you uh, an opportunity to take advantage of the existing geometry like that. Okay, so out at the machine now, I've got the rotary table set up. And the reason why I'm going to use the rotary table to machine these lugs off is because it's going to allow me to easily align these surfaces with the X and Y axes so I can just machine along there, cut the log off, and get it nice and flush with these uh, existing surfaces. Okay, so I'm just going to put the part up here on these blocks and um, in an almost ad hoc way here, I'm not really being too fussy about it, I'll put a clamp over on this side, okay, and really about all I care about at this stage is making sure that I've got clearance with my clamp and that I'm not going to hit my block with my uh, end mill, okay. Sock that one down, and okay, that's good enough. Okay, okay, now let's get the thing all aligned. Okay, so to align this surface with the x-axis, I just need two points. So I'm going to pick up an xy point here and an xy point over here somewhere, and then the Cartesian display will do the rest. Uh, it will adjust the table angle. Uh, so that this is exactly parallel to the x-axis, okay? So I just need to bring the indicator down, right? That little dot there assures me that I'm away from the uh, the tangency of that arc. That's all that is. Okay, so I'm just going to go for zero here. Okay, good enough. Lock that point in. Now I'm going to pick up the other point. Okay. Okay, good. Knock that point in. All right, now let me show you on the Cartesian display what I'm doing here. Okay, so what I did was I went to uh, Menu, Rotary, uh, Auto Zero. Okay, and it says Locate First Point, hit OK. Okay, so bring the indicator down, and then I went for Indicator Zero. Okay, then I say, okay. Now I'll move to the second point. Okay, close off. Go for indicator zero once again. Okay, now I'll get the indicator up out of the way because the table's gonna move. Locate second point, hit okay. Okay. So now the table has just adjusted itself. Now let's have a look. Okay, so I didn't show it, but when I hit that second point, uh, the Cartesian display calculated the angle necessarily to cancel out uh, this error and make this surface parallel to the x-axis, okay? So it tweaked itself a little bit uh, when we weren't looking. So now let's just see how, how close it got it. So I'm gonna bring the indicator down, all right? And I'm gonna pick up a zero here, okay? Good. And there it 
is. So we got almost no indicator deflection there. So that means that this surface is actually uh, nice and parallel to the x-axis. Okay, so to align this surface with the y-axis, I need to go to menu, rotate table, uh, minus 24.5, 24.5, enter. Okay, so as you can see, that surface is now parallel to the y-axis, so now I can go ahead and machine that lug off. Okay, so there it is. It's perfect. Okay, so now this part is ready for even further processing. Okay, so here's something from uh, earlier that I wanted to show. How did I know that this line here was 24.5 degrees from this line here? Okay, so notice that this line here is lit up in red It's because it's on radar. Line 13 and is in red, it's on radar. So if I, I just go to menu and I go to align with X, okay? You can hear the, the, the rotary table just took off, right? So it aligned uh, the part so that this uh, line is parallel to the X axis, okay? Uh, there's actually a couple ways to go about this. So uh, you notice that it moved 24.5 degrees to get there, right? And so uh, when the model is in its normal position, this line is vertical. So that's kind of how I knew it was 24.5 degrees. Uh, but there's another way. Uh, any anytime you have a, a line that's on radar, or any entity, line, point, arc, circle, whatever, uh, so let's say this one's on radar, and I wanted to know what angle that line was at. So you can always hit the OK button, and that will allow you to interrogate any entity that's on radar. And so there it is, it's line 10. It goes from this XY to this XY. It has a reference angle of 65.5 degrees. There's the equation of the line, right? Y equals MX plus B, and the line segment length, okay? So the complement of that angle is 24.5, and uh, that's how I, I knew that it was 24.5 actually. And in reality, I, I don't need to know the angles at all. All I really have to do is, um, if I was machining this part for real, and I wanted that uh, line to be parallel to the y-axis, I would simply put it on radar, and I would say align with y, okay? And you can hear the table took off, right? And so now the, the, the part is oriented such that this line is exactly parallel to the y-axis. And again, uh, it, this is the normal orientation of the part, so that actually is zero degrees. Okay, so you see there's a couple of ways that you can interrogate the model to learn what these angles are. But in reality, you never really need to know what the angles are. As long as you're using the align functions, it will compute everything for you, and uh, it, you know, even if it was in some completely oddball angle, some weird fractional angle, it would take care of all that for you. You'd never have to key in the angle like I did. I kind of did it the hard way. Uh, just to show that there's more than one way to, uh, to skin a cat here. Uh, just in case anybody's watching this video cold, in other words, you don't know what I'm talking about with respect to like the Cartesian display, all right? So here's the ordinary knee mill, right? Remember, here's our uh, rotary table. This is a computerized rotary table, right? Just an ordinary uh, off-the-shelf uh, precision rotary table with the motor adapted. And uh, here's our DRO and the Cartesian display, okay? So this is the setup, right? Just in case anybody was uh, wondering what I was talking about all this time. Thanks for watching.